Good morning everyone. So it's been a long time. I'm gonna try something a little new. I, I am such an inconsistent YouTuber <laughs> and my channel is so inconsistent like as far as subject matter. Um, so I'm just gonna try like a more like a vlog style thing um, and do with my phone. So let me know what you think of the video and sound quality. Um, and if you have any interest in listening to me talk to a camera, which is a really strange concept, but I know I enjoy watching people talk to a camera for some reason, so maybe you will too. Um, anyways, I have been up for way too long. The sun is just now starting to come up and show its light in the sky. I have... I woke up at one o'clock this morning and spent two hours just tossing and turning and trying to go back to sleep. And finally three o'clock rolled around and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get up and make coffee because that is going to be so much easier, even though it's early, than laying here and tossing and turning until my alarm clock rings at five o'clock. So I got up, it ended up being great. I, I actually really love the early mornings when it's so quiet just before the world wakes up and then like hearing it start to wake up, hearing the traffic like start to to build and the light come up and it's just a it's so peaceful. I'm definitely like at at my happiest in the, in the early morning hours. So it was great. It's going to be a long day, but whatever. Um, I got a lot of chores done this morning, which was fantastic because I'm going out of town tomorrow after work for the weekend. So it'll be nice to have everything done. And when I get back on Sunday evening, I can just like walk in and everything's done and beautiful and it's great. So this morning I have been journaling, of course, drinking coffee. Um, and I wanted to share with you the journal that I am working in right now. First of all, this is my Hobonichi Weeks, and we're almost done with the year. It looks really empty. It looked really empty, but I assure you, I actually use this quite a bit. Nothing spectacular. It's mostly just scribbles uh, and all like work related. So, but it's been really handy to have. I'll probably get another Hobonichi Weeks for the new year. Um, but this is a B6 Slim Sojourner cover with an Anami Cafe Notes notebook on the inside with the lighter weight Moe River paper um, and it's been my daily journal and I really love it. I've actually, I've, I like this size quite a lot um, and as you can see I've been experimenting with some like bullet journal style layouts. Uh, very, <laughs> very like fresh and new but just to like record some of the things. Uh, I thought it would be interesting because I've had some health things that I've been dealing with and trying to sort out for for a year now. Um, and so I just thought it'd be interesting to um, take care of those. And then I also have like another page. I don't really want to show you. It's all my finances I'm trying to save. And so one of the things that I'm doing is at the beginning of the month, I write out what all is like my bank account situation, checking, savings, credit card, loan, whatever. Um, I wrote, write out the totals at the beginning of the month and then I write out the totals at the end of the month and I compare and hopefully I will have saved some and paid off some of the loan debts. Um, and also I am, I have like different sections for um, what I spend on groceries, gas and it, et cetera. So It'd give to give me oh yeah and bills so it'd give me a general idea of like how much money is going out and how much money is going in and how much money is being saved so so far that has really worked i'm still in my pajamas by the way flannel pajamas because it's finally cold enough at night to wear flannel pajamas and fig says good morning he was like why are you up so early oh hi all right, I wanted to show you something in here. So 
Uh, some of you watching this will be very familiar with who these guys are. Um, this is some of my ball jointed doll collection. So BJD is the acronym that you'll hear tossed around. Um, it is a very specific doll type. Uh, these are resin dolls. They're originally sculpted by an artist. They are ball jointed. All their joints are articulated. They're strung up with elastic. They are very poseable. They can stand on their own. They can hold their own poses. They're beautiful. And they also are generally kind of like a blank canvas for someone. So basically when you get the doll, and there's all sorts of different aesthetics. It's all dependent on the artist that sculpted it originally. Um, but when you get the doll, generally they don't have any sort of detailing on their face. They don't have any wigs, they don't have any eyes. So you do that, you paint their faces, you put the clothes, you find clothes for them, you make clothes for them, you buy clothes for them, you put eyes, you put wigs. Um, these two I've painted their faces. These are my bigger ones. These are 60 centimeters. They're, they're huge. You can just see as a comparison. Um, and then this is an MSD or 43 centimeter doll. Um, she, I made her wig, painted her face and also made the ears. Um, and they all have like really elaborate stories. So anyways, I just wanted to share that with you. This is my doll chest. Um, and Fig is playing with the toy. <laughs> uh, in here I have like random accessories, books and backpacks and hats and extra eyeballs and hands and wigs. It's kind of, this is the messiest of the drawers for sure. And then the next drawer down I have all the clothes for the smaller doll here. Her name is Miley X, by the way. Um, and just look at how incredible this stuff is so yeah hand knit isn't that beautiful uh, hand sewn tailor-made i actually designed this dress uh in a in a drawing and then a wonderful um doll friend of mine sewed it up she did a lot of dresses actually i have many many things from her um, she made like these little bloomers with out of raw silk. She made this skirt. Um, I have many of her things in here. And then little leather moccasins and shoes. I made this little felt bag and actually it's filled with tiny mushrooms <laughs> that I also had made once upon a time. I was really, really active in this hobby for about 11, 12 years. Um, I, so yeah, I've done a lot in this hobby. So there's all different types of mushrooms. I have more mushrooms in, in this. <laughs> yeah, I just went crazy one day and made a bunch of mushrooms. So anyways, I used to make a lot of stuff for them. Uh, I used to have a lot more that I made like little books and just all sorts of props, but I, I don't anymore. I have another doll. He's in here. <laughs> how, how awful. I know it looks kind of creepy when you have like a doll in a drawer, um, but I don't always have all of them out on display. It's a lot and I rotate and I dress them and change their clothes. I'm not that active in the hobby as in I haven't uh, purchased anything new in a couple of years. So, but that could change, you never know. Um, these are skirts and dresses for the bigger dolls, jackets and shirts. I have so many like little flannel, you just gotta like, you gotta understand <laughs> why this hobby is so incredible. Look at this little tiny flannel shirt with a working pocket and like a little label on the inside. Ah! And it's real flannel fabric too, it's delightful. And then in the very bottom are also for the big dolls. These are pants and shorts, lots and lots of different pants and shorts. Um, oh, and something that I made, I made this little like, um, I hand sewed all of it. It's like a little 
bib, corduroy bib, or overall set. It's not the tidiest, but I was pretty proud at the time. <laughs> and look at these shoes. Yeah, so it's just, it's such a fun hobby. Um, I also want to update you on Bigsby. He's actually still sleeping right now. He's sleeping in. He's like, mom, why did you wake up so early? I'm tired. So I am actually getting ready now. Um, I basically, I am just trying to try something new and see how it goes. Um, I, yeah, like I said, I've been really inconsistent. There's a couple of things that I'd love to update you guys on, like Bigsby and all the things that I've done for him. He is the love of my life. All of my mommy instincts have like kicked into gear with this little guy. I just am so in love with him. Um, and I would like to possibly, oh, and I need to rotate, right? I wonder if it will automatically rotate. Uh, I would also like to um, maybe film while I go up to the mountains. So thank you guys for watching. Oh, also, I'm sleeping in here now. This is, so this is Bigsby's room. Um, and now I'm sleeping on the couch because I am going to have some guests stay here for a week or so. And then shortly thereafter, I actually might have a friend that will be renting this room out for the winter. So I've moved out and have moved in over here. And I, I quite like it. It's cozy. I moved in all of my horses <laughs> and my closet. So yeah. Fig is very ready to go to for his walk. So I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think and maybe what you want to see. Can't make any guarantees. I don't know <laughs> what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm back because Bigsby just woke up and he came out and said hello. Oh, I just love him so much. So I just wanted to have him say hello. Little bee. All right. Bye.